So Corvus OS new update is out as expectedly with the version S3.2. The thing is as July is coming, July is going on right now and we have the June security patch. In the previous month, in June, in June month, we got a May security patch. Now we have the June security patch. Of course, kind of weird, but it's not a big deal. It's just security patch. But yes, new things are updating in this room day by day with this new update. We have some few of the new things which I'm going to talk about in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. We have the Android version 12 and yes, it's Android 12 L. You can see Android 12.1. And yes, as I just mentioned, we have the June security patch. It does not have the May security patch. It does not have the July security patch. July security patch while well, making this video is not rolled out yet, but it will come very soon for all the customers except Corvus. Corvus might give you the update in maybe next month with the July security patch, but with this June security patch, this update is here. Officially available for many devices and if your device did not, got, did not got the update yet, you will get the update very soon. But right now, as I'm using unofficial version in Redmi Note 8, so don't think about the device specific things because there might be some bugs there. I'm not going to talk about that. The first change, the first major change which we have in this Corvus Swiss latest update is in the game space. If you're able to see, you can see the RAM, the time, the battery and the CPU, all these things are now added. So very good kind of thing for a gamer as if you're a gamer, you need these kind of things. Corvus OS, as some said that it's a gaming room, I'm not sure, but yes, they are improving the game space. In this matter, you can say it's a gaming room. So yes, kind of funny. We have the mode, heads ups, etc, etc. All these things are already there. And yes, game space looks good, I think. So quite improved if you compare it with some other custom homes. There might be some few of the changes with other ones, some differences with other ones, but it's not a big deal. Another new change which we have is in the quick settings panel. Now we have the quick settings panel styles available. We have the default quick setting rounded rectangle and quick setting outline rectangle angle almost same kind of things only few of the differences here which we have in this quick settings panel the thing is it's about users own preference own opinion if they want to customize a quick settings panel or not if you love to do customizations and you want to use these things without routing then this option might be quite useful for you but it's up to you if you don't want to use these things if you don't want to customize your device with quick settings panel etc it's just your opinion this one the quick setting outline style looks quite good you can see the brightness slider you can see this tiles style maybe looks quite good looks quite interesting one if you want to use this thing you can although you can use a default one if you want to it's not a big deal by the way you can also use the AOSP modes you can use project themer i have already made a video on project themer if you want to check it out you can I also tried in using this quick setting transparency things which is available by default in Corvus OS even from the previous updates which looks interesting one if you want to use this thing you can as you can see this is how it is looking like so not to worry about this one but it's up to you if you want to customize if you are interested in customization then you will love Corvus OS this update but if you don't want to use the customizations if you don't want if you don't like theming etc kind of things you have pixel experience you have arrow os you can try out those custom rooms for sure but if you want to use corvus os you need to keep this thing in your mind i think so some few of the things might be there as i'm using unofficial versions so i think so i'm having some only few kind of bugs but yes if you use the official version you might not get those and yes these things depends upon device whichever device you're using things might be changed here Clock and date settings also has something. Let me show you the quick settings header. The clock, if you are able to see, if I try to increase the quick settings header clock font size, as you can see, the quick settings left top, the clock is now at bigger size. Whichever size you want to use, you can. By default, it's at 14 in my case. And if I use the 14 one, this is how it is looking like. If you find this clock a small one for you, then you can increase this. If you want to use big one, you can use that. The option is now present in the clock and date settings, which was not available previously. So in this new update, this is the new addition which we have in this one. Looks interesting one. You can even customize the status bar clock fonts. The option is available for you. This looks quite good and this might be considered as a customization thing. I don't think so. It's a feature. So as yes, if you're a customization lover, you need to use this thing on your device too. 
this is about the clock and date settings if i move on to other options one thing which was not listed in the change log if i'm not wrong but we found this what is this you can simply move on to the home settings sorry it's not about the launcher let me talk about the launcher first use taskbar as expected is there show grid for recent app we have the free ram in recents we have the icon labels on desktop and drawer we have some icon size related customizations and as expectedly some icon pack related customizations already there but if you take a look at the wallpaper section if i move on to the wallpaper section change wallpapers raven walls if you know that raven walls has some options for you has some customizations has some actually wallpapers cool looking wallpapers for you in the previous update these were there but now in this new update we found some extra and new wallpapers if i'm not even the default wallpaper has been changed if you are able to notice the wallpaper was default one and yes this is what we have the wallpapers the new wallpapers are there if you don't want to use other wallpaper apps other wallpaper apps are paid some interesting and cool looking wallpapers are pre-installed in this latest update as you can see this was one of those wallpapers which is by default now you can use these wallpapers if you want to looks quite good other than else things are basically same if you move on to the corvo settings or device settings here you have some theming options where you can customize the icon pack etc and then in icon pack you also have the pavlova ui which is one of the most famous custom icon pack for you which will theme your system ui looks quite good and i already have a specific video on pavlova ui how this theme looks like the progress bar the status bar icons all looks quite good if you move on to the miscellaneous options you have the unlimited photo storage and unlock higher fps in games i made a dedicated video on corvus with features and i've shown you about the unlimited photo storage that you have the option to use this i mean you have the option to enable or disable this thing so this might be helpful in your case same like that some few of the customizations with battery section we have some quick settings status bar customizations as expectedly all these options are already present and these were things I just want to let you know about this Corvus OS latest update. Corvus OS version 3.2 is now out and it's coming officially for many devices. If your device has official support and if you didn't got the update yet, you might get the update very, very soon. You can ask the developers for your device update. But I have the unofficial version. I just want to let you know about the new things and change log. And this is what I've shown you. This is all from today's short and simple video. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.